Hi, I'm Natalie and welcome back. Today, I just wanna do a brief video about how I told my children and what I told them. Just because I've been getting so many questions about this one specific topic of how do you tell your children? So I've already done a video that is basically who to tell and what to tell them because if you're opening your marriage and dating in your city, there's a good chance people will see you. And then what they do with that information. That's the scary part for most people when they open their marriage is what will people think and what will people say and what will they do? So I've done a video already about who to tell and what to tell them because it's your marriage and you're absolutely supposed to keep it private. It doesn't have to be a secret. You're good. So I've already done a video on that. When it comes to children, you know what's best for your children and you know what they can handle and the information they should know um, and things like that. What I did was I told my children separately because, well, they're 14 years apart. So my son knew when he was 18, like seven years ago, but my daughter did not know when she was three. I told her when she was like nine. So how it started was we weren't actually ever gonna tell our children anything because, well, why would we? Who cares, right? Like, why would we ever have to tell that? But in the beginning stages, we felt like that's all we'd really done. So there was no reason to. Now, as we started to move along in our open lives, I started to feed into dreams and I started to write. And one of the things that I started with was a blog. And I wanted to blog about the journey I was having. So in order for me to do that, I didn't feel comfortable not telling my son. He's an adult. I didn't want somebody else to tell him that. Here's the thing. We're changing the dynamic of the marriage and that affects the family. So the family deserves to know. That's in our family. How you choose is up to you. I'm just giving information about how we did it and what works for us. So we told Bailey, uh, my son, when he was 18 because I was gonna start the blog and I wanted him to know. When we went to him, we just said, hey, I'm gonna start writing, you're gonna hear some things. About a year ago, we opened our marriage and we, you know, I started to go to New York and we started to just kind of live differently. We started to have experiences with other people in that and we're good in it. There's nothing wrong with our marriage. We just really aren't monogamous and we don't see the necessity for it. So we're changing it. And, you know, he took it really well, which I wasn't sure how he was going to, because if you'll remember, I had an affair in my first marriage, which was his father. So I went into that already a bit nervous. I wasn't sure how he was going to take that. Um, but it was really well when he sat there and he said, he opened up to us and said, you know, I'm monogamous. I really like being monogamous but I'm glad that if you guys are gonna change your marriage, that you're both in the know and no one can stand on our front step and change that. No one can come in and blow up the family because we're doing it in an open and honest fashion. And that was something he could get behind. Even though he is absolutely a hardcore monogamous, he could understand and respect why we would go the route we did. That part was easy. Now. Fast forward a few years, my daughter's nine, and you know she's home from school because of COVID, and we're learning a bunch of stuff around sex ed and stuff, and she said, hey mom, do you know that some people have open marriages? So that was my merge. That's where I was getting back on the highway to be like, yep, let's talk about it. So I just went and I grabbed my book and I sat down beside her and I said, what do you want to know about open marriage? Nothing really, just that it exists, right? Yeah. I said, do you know what mommy wrote her book on? And she's like, nope, because at that point she hadn't read it. Maybe she never will, I'm not really sure. And I explained to her that me and her father had decided to open our marriage and that, you know, we had separate lives as well and that, you know, we were seeing other people in that, but it didn't mean that the family was changing or that, you know, we were separating or there was anything wrong with the marriage. It was just that 
the suggestions that were handed down about marriage no longer fit for us. So we decided to change it. And when we went to our children and we discussed it with them, we wanted to be very clear, very honest, and give the information that was required. That does not include a lot of details, just information that was required. One of my daughter's big question was, will you always be my mom? Absolutely, I will always be your mom. Will dad always be my dad? You bet, that doesn't change at all. He will always be your father, I will always be your mom. And she was good with that. Here's the thing, is that when we give the information necessary and we give it honestly and with confidence, they accept it like that. It's when we start to, you know, make up truths or fancy it up a bit or make it not so shocking that it becomes a bit more unbalanced in the feeling. If you're not confident in it, they're gonna be afraid. This is their family. They, this is your marriage. This is their family. They deserve to have the truth, but that doesn't necessarily mean all the details, right? It was also very important to me that we normalize our lives in this house. We don't whisper about it. We don't walk on eggshells and we don't lie or hide. This is who we are. We're not monogamous and that's okay because we live and operate in the truth. Like we put ourselves in a glass house so that people couldn't do that. Whatever you decide to tell your children, you know what's best for them. We decided to give them chunks of information that would allow them to feel comfortable and confident that what we were doing was done in love and trust and honesty. That's all we could do. Like I said, whatever you decide to tell your children or the people around you is up to you. I just didn't want my children or like my mother and sister being caught off guard. So I gave them information. I just didn't give them details. And that's it. Please feel free to leave any comments or questions below and I'm happy to get to them. Thanks.